Peace, peace, y'all. All right, I'm going to hop right into it because this message was pouring through me on my way back home. Um, so this is for anybody who truly resonates as a chosen one. For the people who know who they truly are on the spirit realm or finding out who they are in the spirit realm, uh, this message is definitely for you. Um, I got I to gotta make sure I can put everything into words. <laughs> the people that turn their back on you, the people that went against you, the people that gang stalked you, everybody who was in on disrespecting you and making sure that that disrespect spread like wildfire throughout the community. It could have been a community of people. It could have been an organization. It could have been multiple organizations. It could have been an entire neighborhood. However, that looked like for you, especially, and I mean, especially I'm picking up if you live in a small town or lived in a small town. Um, this also includes your family. This includes friends that you stop talking to. This this is almost everybody under the sun, seemingly, you know, and, you know, old co-workers, people who you were cool with, you know, you walk down the street or, you know, and, and you used to saying hi to them and having little conversations here and there, you know, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Whatever. There was mutual respect amongst you and your neighborhood, you and your community. And all of a sudden, people start, lit and I mean literally running away from you. All of a sudden, people start walking away from you. All of a sudden, people started disrespecting you or would give you, you know, dirty looks or, you know, you say hi and they start snubbing their nose at you. I'm talking about everybody. Um, the whole, one of the, one of, and I mean one of the biggest main reasons as to why that was happening was because they wanted to distort people's perception of you. They didn't, they wanted to ruin people's perception of you because they didn't, they didn't want them to see who you really were on the spirit realm. They didn't want them to see or witness who you truly are without this body. They didn't want to, they didn't want people to see your light because they felt that if they saw your light, there was going to be a level of respect that you would have obtained just by being you and the people that set all this up. When I tell you jealousy is not the word, this is, excuse me, this is true envy. This is envy at its max. These people have no sense of self. They don't love themselves or barely like themselves. They're the ones that say, I'm sorry all the time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They're the ones that do that shit all the time. They're the ones that feel like they have to bow to everybody. And you know, and it's commendable that, uh, you know, I'll give you my last dollar. It's commendable that you have a, they think that it's commendable. They're so programmed and will choose not to reprogram their mind and align with their heart. They're so programmed to sit there and believe that having a lack of self-worth equates to something being commendable because you're putting everybody first and then they expect to get back from everybody. That's not how this shit fucking works, okay? Um, Wow, um, I'm picking up heavily, 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 heavily co-workers. These people are trying to hide. They're making up fake accounts. They're sitting there knowing good and goddamn well you're not talking to them no more. And here they are trying to hop up on your page to see what you're doing. Get the latest gossip because their lives are not interesting enough for their focus to be on them and keep it that way. It's pathetic. You're dealing with a lot of pathetic people as a real chosen one. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, do you have to? You have to excuse their envy. And when I mean excuse their envy, just know that that's what it is. Okay. You talk to your spirit guides about what to do with it. I'm not here to tell you what to do. 
um, some people you need to start calling them out. You need to start calling some of these people out. You know what I'm saying? Um, and is no joke. It really isn't. They really, they are, they're so envious of you that you have such a light to you that people snap their fucking necks just turning back and looking at you because you exude, it ain't even about your physical appearance. And even then, like, you know, you know to keep up on your physical appearance. You know what I'm saying? You either clean shaven or you got a nice beard or, you know, um, you look good, you smell nice, you know, whatever the, whatever the case is. Um, you, you exude this light, you exude this power, and it commands respect. And you're not even doing nothing. You just walking down the fucking street wanting to get a goddamn bagel and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm, I'm also picking up that there is a lot of family involved in this. There is a lot of family involved in this. There is a mother figure who is so jealous um, because she's never... It's not that she never had the chance to heal. It's that she never healed. She never chose to. Not she did, it's not that she didn't have a chance. She just did not choose to have... To make sure she had that time to herself and dedicated and committed her love to herself. It's really sad. It's really sad. I'm also hearing uh, unscathed. So you've been walking through the fire this entire time. You ain't got a mark on your ass. They wanted you to come out with third degree burns. They wanted you to be fucked up. They wanted your eyesight gone. Like, here's the thing. People will smile in your face all day. People will smile in your face all day long. Oh, that's not me. I don't do stuff like that. That's not me. <laughs> like, stop. Stop. <laughs> because you're the light that you exude shines on them. And you may be thinking to yourself, okay, well, hey, let's let's share the spotlight here. I got a lot of light. Let's share, you know. So they don't see it that way. They see it as, oh, you're exposing my hiding spots. All the darkness that I've been sweeping under the fucking rug this entire time. Now, now I'm, I'm, now I'm being exposed just by you being you. That's the part that pisses them off the absolute most. You're not even trying to expose them. You're not even trying. You're literally just being you walking down the street wanting to get you mm, a toasted cinnamon raisin bagel with extra cream cheese. Cut that bitch in half perfectly. You know what I'm saying? You get home. Yow, yow, yow. That's all you're trying to do. <laughs> you're just trying to walk down the street and get your shit. And that bothers people the absolute fucking most. So um, I'm also now, uh, yeah, it's only nine minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going with this. Um, your family is keeping it has has keeping a, has been has kept a secret from you from when you were a baby. I'm not getting three years old. I'm not getting six years old. I'm not getting one year. I'm well, one. One is a baby. Before toddler, I'm talking about infancy. There is something that they. I, I can't. I can't help but to say it. There's, there's something that they did to you. Something that has to do with the root chakra. And it's almost like it's. This is the second time I'm picking this up. It's almost like a um, when you tag a cow's ear. And they have a number on it. It's almost like they did that to your root chakra. 
they took you to somebody in the family who knew how to do shit like that. Or somebody in the family convinced them to come and bring you to do that to you so that your, 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 your child will be yours forever type of shit. It's, oh man, it's, I'm get, also picking up MK Ultra. I'm picking up, I'm heavy, heavy mind wash and brainwash. Um, oh God, I'm picking up sex magic. I'm picking up everything, everything that you thought was ever impossible, everything you ever thought was fucking weird, it's, it's possible and, and it's true, okay? Um, something about the heart chakra too, they don't, they never wanted you to forgive. They wanted you to stay in a place that is cantankerous. They, they wanted you to become cantankerous. They wanted you to be, I'm also picking up something about uh, calf muscle, um, a calf muscle with a really, and I mean a really thick vein going through it, you may know somebody, if it's not you, you may know somebody with a really, really, really thick, prominent vein through the calf muscle, um, I'm also hearing little man, um, Napoleon complex, uh, I'm picking up on the owner of a homeless shelter or the owner of uh, a housing um, situation. Um, oh my God, yo, your family went in cahoots with fucking everybody. Holy shit. Um, but they did. They wanted you to. They wanted. You, they wanted your heart space to be calcified. They wanted you to go through so much shit and then hold on to it. And then towards the end, when you start remembering everything, instead of them being there for you for legit emotional support and comfort, they left you out in the cold. Um, and they wanted you to be angry about that. They wanted you to not be forgiving. They wanted you, if, if you wasn't going to be religious with them, or if you wasn't going to tap dance with them and work a nine to five like them, and stay that way, um, they wanted you to be a bum. Phew, I'm also picking up solar plexus chakra. Be careful what you're eating and how much you're eating of it. Listen to your body, honor your body. If these people are not honoring you, you have to learn to honor yourself and you got to do it quickly, okay? I'm not trying to um, put a scare on anybody, but you know, we've, we've been going through these major shifts you don't, you don't, you want these people eclipsed out of your fucking life, okay? Um, but that's all I got. I am hearing the name Dana. Um, I'm hearing, I'm hearing wishy washy. Um, I'm hearing the name Terrell or can and and or Cantrell, almost like Blue Cantrell, like the singer. Um, maybe there's a song by her um that you like to sing or somebody looks at you like your blue cantrell just beautiful uh star quality um but they blackballed her like a motherfucker um some about a river some about being thrown in a river like i see like a box of some sort um and yellow, I'm getting yellow again, something about your solar plexus chakra. So you please make sure you work on all your chakras, make sure they're aligned every day, make sure you're protected. Um, but something about that river though, um, something about crabbing as well. Something is caged up, something is thrown out. But um, that's all I got right now, all right? I love you guys very much if you haven't heard it today. Uh, it's, it's important, you know, um, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Peace.